What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at my full fly fishing setup. This includes my rod, which is over there, I haven't gotten it quite out yet, and my vest, and of course my net. Um, I hope to provide, provide you with some information on what kind of setup you guys should get, and I hope you enjoy the video. Starting off here, we're gonna look at some of the pockets. So, in our first pocket, we have some floaters. This is to bring your fly up to the top or dangle it maybe. Uh, a little bit of a mess in there. And then nothing in this pocket. This isn't really full, but got a, got all the stuff I need. Um, I don't carry many flies. I mean, there are only so many types that you could possibly need. And then we have all of our leaders. Of course, like... This is for my entire family, so I've got to carry, like, lots of leaders. Usually they carry their own fly boxes, so that's why I only have one fly box. Then I have some of these. This is random. I don't know why they're in here, but could use them. Um, then we have some scientific anglers tippet. This is, this is like, a really nice spool. Um, this is good for, like, the end of your line, of course. It's got a little cutter in there. That's actually really nice. Didn't notice that. Um, then we have our little... Then we have some, um, floatant on the little tractor thingy. Really like that because you can't drop it in the water. Um, here we've got our scissors. Necessary, definitely. Um, here we've got line, more leader, don't know why, got a lot of leader, and then uh, more tippet, so a lot of line, a lot of tippet, I think that's, might be it for the pockets. Uh, there are a bunch of, like, back pockets. That's for, like, a rain poncho or something. That would be good. Um, next up, we're gonna look at my net. You commonly see these fly fishermen. And they always recommend it. And I recommend it, too. So, basically, it's got a magnet. It clips onto your vest. I actually lost the other end of the magnet. Um... So I'm gonna, I might need to get a new one, but you can also use uh, like this, clip it on. But then you've got to go back there. Otherwise, if you catch a fish, you can just pull it right off your back instead of having to go back there and detach it. Um, I think we're gonna look at my. Finally, guys, here's a look at my fly fishing combo. Um, this is a Martin. It was actually on sale. Um, yellow line, white. I don't know what that's called, the inner line. Seven foot, medium, breaks into three spaces so I can get in my case. Really like this case because it fit easily into your car. Um, bend at the end. Pretty easy. Um, seven eyelets or eight, maybe. Um... I tied this fly myself, and here we have, so, reel's pretty nice, short butt, then it goes, yeah, really nice combo, I love it, um, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you have an amazing day, and I hope I taught you something about what kind of fly fishing combo you should buy and what kind of gear you should get. Thanks for watching and have a great day.